is much deeper than it's, last time we came. It really is. So just I'm a little intimidated. Know, I am. I am too. Have I gone too far, Lou? Is the Santa hat too much? and welcome back to Happy Holidays 2021 edition. I am all dressed up and ready to head out to one of my favorite thrifting spots. I thought I would start the series with a bang. I'm going back to Cambridge to the Garment District where I shop by the pound. Similar to the Goodwill Outlet bins, except everything's on the ground. I'm going to pick up my good friend Kim, who loves it too. We're hoping for good parking. This time, my goal is to not lose my credit card and not get a parking ticket, because that's what has happened to me my past two visits. Wish me luck. I'm so excited for this week's adventure with you. I hope you enjoy this video. All right, got my coffee and I'm ready to go. Parking can be really brutal in the city. Um, I'm hoping that it's not crazy. I've never been to this location in the morning, which is when they open the bale. So at the Goodwill Outlet, they rotate out tables throughout the day. Some days are better than others and you'll catch more rotations with better items throughout the day. Sometimes you're there and they're not switching out the bins very often. At this place, I believe it's an 850 pound bale of clothing that they snap open at the start of the day and then that's it for the day. So the past two times that I've been there, it's been late in the afternoon and I've still had a lot of success. Today, I'm going close to opening. It's 9.44 right now, I'm picking up my girlfriend and then we're heading into town. And I'm gonna post some images that they've recently posted on the Garment District's Instagram page showing what it looked like in the early 80s when they first opened it. So you can enjoy the pictures. We just got here. They open in two minutes. I've never been here for opening. Sorry, it's probably really loud out here. Um, we're gonna see if we get to see them like open the bale. So I'm super excited. It's quiet. Fingers crossed we have good selection and we got two hours on the meter. So let's go do some damage. Fal Faldi? Fal Fauci? Fauci? Fauci. No, I'm joking. So just I'm a little intimidated. Know, I am. I am too. All right. Well, got to just dig in right. at some point. I think I'm just going to set my camera up. So as you can see, Kim and I certainly had our work cut out for us. I liked this spider sweatshirt, but it had a lot of grease stains on it. The pile was probably past our knees, like when we were standing next to it. The cool thing about opening was that nobody was there. And this is just something I'm not used to with the Goodwill outlet. 
so we could really take our time and go through stuff, but it was still pretty intimidating. Kim is very strategic. She picks one area and just focuses. I can't focus and I'm all over the place, as you can see while we're shopping here. I did find this cute Ashley Stewart pea coat uh, that Kim tried on. She looked beautiful in it. So we tossed that coat in Kim's bag and we kept on hunting. We have a long day ahead of us before we can tap out here. question for you. Does this look like heaven or hell? <laughs> you know you're a reseller when dot dot dot. Leave me a message in the comments. This Michael Starr's dress had some extra pilling on it, and I think that is the old Michael Starr's label, um, so I left that behind. This is an Alpha Elite piece that I showed a little bit earlier. It had some massive pilling. I did bring home this L.L. Bean red flannel robe, very heavy flannel with an attached belt. It's always a plus for me when the belt is attached, so um, that came home with me. Just about ready to wrap things up and I found those marine layer shorts which I was pretty excited about and Kim found this All Saints sweater which was one of my favorite things of the day. So this is us at the end. We have all of our stuff on the side coming over to the scale just to give you a peek. You put your stuff there and this round was $23.60 and there's a J. Crew coat right on top there and then we need to go get some lunch. Okay, we just took a break to eat. Mm. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm eating a sandwich. Um, but we're at a really cute place. Had to feed the meter. Always like drama with parking around here. But we think we got it. I just have to go back. I'm gonna get some change here. And we're gonna do one more round. Go upstairs. And yeah, there's just so much more to dig through, right? Mm -hmm. So, all right, we'll be back. We are in the designer section here. I pass on this ace and jig dress and I just looked at comps. Might not have been the best decision I've ever made. What was that, $35? I mean, comps are all over the place on ace and jig, but there were so many over 100. But I purchased an Isabel Morant dress the last time I was here and it has been sitting. So I was very hesitant in this designer section to pick up anything. They also have brands like Theory and Vince mixed in with Ace and Jig and some of the other pieces. There's this All Saints dress uh, and I actually pick up an All Saints piece in the pit which I'm really excited about. This section I wanted to share with you because I was fascinated by these prices as well. This is all vintage and they have all of these vintage sweaters priced between $25 and $35. Just something to keep in mind when we're out shopping. I think it's helpful to see what thrift stores are pricing things at. Now we are back in the pit. I found this to me jacket, which I'm gonna show in the haul. And when I was watching the footage back from the haul, I realized there are grease stains all over this. I washed it, held it up for the haul, and I was completely oblivious <laughs> to the grease stains that were still on it. So I missed them twice. So I'm going to have to treat that jacket more before I um, actually list it or photograph it. But this was a great day. Kim is the best partner out here and we are heading home now.
All right, everybody. Well, I am back from the garment district. And just to clarify, people have asked, the garment district is actually a physical store. It's not like an area. Where I shop within the garment district is called by the pound, and I call it the pit. I did end up buying two items from the main store, and I'm gonna start by sharing those with you. Um, I ended up getting these Burberry slides for $23. They were marked as is, and I think it's because the back part of the heel is pushed down a little bit, but I'm gonna try to get like a shoehorn and stretch it out a little bit and uh, see where we can go from there. The comps on these were really good, like between 100 and $150. But even if I sold these for 80, I like having designer pieces in my closet. So I'll probably start them at about 125 and see how they do. But I do wanna work a little bit on that heel. They are a size 37 and they cost $23.50. The other item that I bought, I'm sad because I bought them for myself and they were mismarked. They are the high rise vintage jeans from Madewell the perfect vintage jeans. They are a size 30, which is a size 10. I'm more like a 12, 14. Um, and the tag over here said 32. So they look like they're kind of a generous cut, but I'm really not a 10. They were $20. I paid $20 for these, but this is a very popular style from Madewell. I don't know if you can see the tag. So I'm kind of hoping that once I get them listed, the back is really cool um, and it's a really nice wash. They're not like skinny jeans. They're not quite, they're a little bit of a tapered leg, but they're really cute. So I'll probably start these at $65 and see how those go. I wrote down some titles, some totals for you. Um, I ended up spending $127.90 for 48 items. There were more items, but I ended up treating my friend Kim, who was with me because she is like such my right hand person when it comes to thrifting. I included her bag in with my stuff. Also, I took out the $43.50, which left me with $84.40 that I spent on these items. Also included with Kim's items, my total came to about $1.90 per item. I've been so pleased with my visits to this place. And on this particular occasion, as you saw in the video, we were there right when they opened, which I was really excited about. I don't think I did that much better on this particular day because I was there at opening. I think my experience the first time I went was really good too, and the second time. Um, because it's 850 pounds of clothing, there's a lot to sort through. So when you first walk in and the piles are so high, it's a lot of work to get through them. I mean, you're literally sitting in the clothes and like moving piles around. I'm gonna start with this Toomey tech jacket. Toomey, like the bag. You can see it, it's a little worn off there. This is a size large. I've washed everything in this haul except for the items that were new with tag or that were special fabric. Um, and it's in really great condition. It is slightly two-toned. There's a little bit of brown here. I'm always on the lookout for Toomey products. I've never sold Toomey clothing. Kim handed me this sweater and I set this one out to dry by hand after I washed it. The brand is called Line and Dot. I believe this is a brand sold at Revolve and this is just a super on trend, like popcorn, chunky cardigan sweater with brown buttons, like perfect for the season and it's a size large. This is a great piece. Um, I picked up this, what I think is a vintage J. Crew jacket for guys. Kind of has a 90s vibe, but look at the interior. I loved that the liner was this great buffalo plaid check. Um, and it is from J. Crew. It is a size medium. I'll show you right there. And it's great. What makes what makes it a little dated is like the the drawstring that cinches the waist. That's kind of 90s to me. Um, but you can leave it open or you can tighten it. And I put this right in the washer and the dryer and it came out great. So those are my bulky things right off the bat. Kim handed me this. This is just a cute Lucky Brand size small. I love having like these types of shirts. They're just so easy with bundles and I love that this ties in the front. You guys know I'm a fan of Lucky Brand. This is just a boutique brand Los Angeles sweatshirt with like a scoop neck, really cute. Everything's folded so nicely. Caitlin just pulled up, so I'm gonna pause to give her the stuff that I've shown already so we can get these listed. These are J. Crew Sutton pants, S-U-T-T-O-N. Looks like they're from the factory because they have the two little dots and they are 3430. I thought these were really in great shape, love the color. Um, probably list those around $28. They'll probably sell for about $20. Gotta love Caitlin. 
I brought down the stuff that I just showed you to her. Okay, this is just a little alpaca, little hat, baby hat, super light. There was definitely a lot of kids' clothing, so I will share with you some of the kids' pieces. I thought this was cute. This is a little Zara, size eight. I'm gonna roar, which I think is so cute. And it's this like little golden rod color. And these Oshkosh, I always pick up Oshkosh, little baby overalls. Uh, I never know which ones are really sought after. I think they're the vintage denim ones. There are Oshkosh experts out there. I'm not one of them. I just know to pick up Oshkosh overalls for like size 2T and under. Maybe the older ones work well too, resale well, but like 15 to $25 depending on how that style does. I haven't run the comps on them yet. This is an Alfani dress and I got it for myself. It has like total parachute vibes, um, but it's a size 12 like short sleeve, army green, but it's got like this bubble bottom. Kind of has trash bag vibes too. I'm not quite sure what I think of this dress, <laughs> um, but I couldn't leave it behind. I kept going back to it. I'm like, Lori, it probably costs $2. Like try it on. If you don't like it, sell it. But it just looks so cozy. And I'm thinking of like when I work in the summer to just have like this super lightweight dress on. I don't know. It feels, it feels like a parachute too, but I love the color. So we'll see. We'll see if I ever put that on myself. This is Saturday Sunday by Anthropology. I'm sure this is a little bit of an older label. I don't even know if they still do Saturday Sunday, but I thought this dress was really cute. Little scoop neck, pleated, um, and it has like little like ch chartreuse colored stitching in different places. Uh, I thought it was cute and it's gray and it has a floral pattern on it. So probably start that at about $25. I liked this Zara knit. This is a size medium. And it's just this cute ribbed sweater. Um, I washed this and I, I swear this shrunk a little bit in, in the length of it. Luckily cropped styles are in, but I swear when I put this in the wash, it was longer. <laughs> My bad. Anyways, it is a size medium, really nice knit. There's a fair amount of Zara there. In one of my more recent hauls, I had passed on a pair of Madewell like cotton pants. These are Madewell velvet, and I think they're really pretty for the holidays. They're tiny. They are the 10 inch high rise skinny in a size 25, but they're from fall of 2018. Madewell, J. Crew. they always have the date right on their pants. Um, and I passed on the other ones that looked like this. But here, where I probably only paid $2, I decided to get them. And I also prefer the velvet to the cotton for a holiday pant. I just sold a pair of Anthropology velvet pants and they were like in that cinnamon brown color that I love. I think they sold for $33, so I was pleased with that. If I could get a similar price on these, I would be really happy. This is just Exhilaration, which is sold at Target. I don't know if I've ever picked up Exhilaration before, uh, but I just loved this top. This dark floral smocking, like the smocked stretchy top, plus it's in an extra large with these little fluttery sleeves, the square neck, cottage core. I love that it's an extra large. I think it's just so, so pretty. It would be really cute with some high-waisted jeans. So yeah, I'll probably price this at 20 bucks. You know, probably sell somewhere between 15 and 18. It's in beautiful condition. Love that. Ah, I was excited for this little baby dress. This is, you can tell probably just from looking at it, it is a Mari Mecco, a little velvet dress. I think the size on this was a size four. Here's the tag for Mari Mecco. Mari Mecco does a lot of collaborations. I think they've done a collab with Uniqlo. I don't know if they've ever done a Target collab, but this is just the brand. So this is a very high-end brand. I have a Mary Mecco dress. It's one of my very favorite. I thrifted it. I love it so much. I've had so many people reach out to me and ask me if I would sell it and I just can't sell it. It's that good. Mine is silk. This is velvet. Um, I haven't run comps on that, but I'm guessing I'll probably start this around $38. Um, that's just a number I'm thinking right now. We'll see if that seems like the right mark for that. Oh, these are cute too. These are J. Jill. If you watched my estate sale recap, I talk about J. Jill, how J. Jill was like a really great seller from my estate sale. And just the items, I sold 12 J. Jill items. 
that equaled $308 or $309. And after fees, it came down to $247. And I was saying for that entire buyout, I spent $250. And just what I made in 12 J. Jill items would have paid for it. So definitely giving J. Jill a second glance. These are, again, those velvet pants, I think great for the holidays. Um, and they're a size 14 tall. Nice high-waisted pants. I'll probably start these at $35. I just think a great holiday pant. Those would have been great for Thanksgiving, that green velvet. All right, next up are these REI pants. These are a size four tall. They have the zip off leg. They are hiking pants for women. I like buying tall um, labels because people are searching for them. I think there's less selection for women who are tall. For some reason, I feel like petite sits forever for me, but when I list tall, it sells pretty quickly. So uh, I think the comps on those were between $25 and $35. These are just a high-rise skinny from Zara. Probably list them around $28. Ooh, there's a little bit of puckering here. That's not great. I'll just note that. Probably list them around $28. They'll probably sell for about $20. Again, I probably would have passed on many of these things if I were paying $7 for a pair of pants and expecting to get like 35 to 50 dollars these are more like 20 to 35 dollar expectations um i almost passed on this it's athleta it's a very old athleta like this tag athleta um i might even bring this to a consignment store although i don't even know if you can read you must be able to read that it's athleta um or i could try it on and see if i could wear this it's a nice it's in really great condition it's just a gray ribbed tank nice and stretchy just an old label this is a really cute Madewell top. I thought this was adorable. There's the Madewell label. It's just a little peplum shirt and it has little flowers and what little flowers, snails, ladders, and maybe coffee cups. It's a very random mix or a hat. It looks like a, a cowboy hat. Somebody, if you can make any sense of why these graphics are together, I'm Pretty confused, but anyways, I think it's a really cute shirt. It's a size medium, probably 15 to $20 for that. I picked up this scarf. It's from Simply Vera, it's attached to me. I just love this color combination, like the charcoal gray and the dusty pink. I think it's beautiful. Um, I tend to leave scarves behind if they don't have a label, just because I wanna reference them somehow. And if they do have a label and I like the style, I'll usually pick it up. I'm not fussy about the label. I just like, I like to put a brand to my scarves or at least fabric content. Um, this is just one size. It's just acrylic. Simply Vera is sold at Kohl's. I don't know if you, know if you can see that label. Probably $15 for this. Very pretty scarf. Something for Rocco's thrift and gift. I will show it another time. These are 7-Eleven skinnies by Levi's. They are a light wash and these are in really good condition. Hoping to get about $30 for these. 7-Elevens do pretty decent. Uh, next up, oh, is this Club Monaco shirt. It's actually like a dark green, almost like a dark teal green and navy blue floral pattern, button down, cotton. Uh, Club Monaco typically has really basic stuff and sometimes is a very slow mover for me, but I liked the pattern on that and I wanted to give it a try. This brand is called Boho Chic and this is 100% linen or like a linen cotton blend. And I loved that this was a popover, that it wasn't like a button all the way down. It's a nice like longer length. It has cuffs that have this fun little, almost like Rick Rack looking ribbon on the edge. I just like the details of this. Definitely out of season, a little summer top, but we'll get that listed either way. I'm going to have so many hauls during Happy Holidays that I think I'm going to be backed up a little bit. So if there is something you like from the haul, please feel free to message me and I will prioritize getting those listed over on Poshmark and on eBay. This is an Everlane top, really pretty. It's just like a bone white button down. I, I mean, I like Everlane a lot. I like it for myself. But pieces like this don't move super fast for me. I think in general, the brand doesn't move very fast for me. They're not a super expensive brand. They are known for their sustainable fashion and their transparency when they're marketing. 
Um, they're a great company and I do love to carry their stuff in my closet, but that I don't anticipate will be a real fast move. Maybe 18 to $20 for that. Probably listed at 25, 28. This actually has some great comps. This is Dr Daydreamer for free people. If you can see that, and it is a bodysuit and it is blondie on the back. And it's like a tie dye, like cotton candy tie dye. And it just says, call me on the back. And in the front, it just has blondie with a phone. Really cute. The comps on these were like $40 or some were listed like at 54, but I think those were new with tag, the softest, softest fabric. And this is like brand new and you know, you have to really look at bodysuits very good before you decide to take it home with you. So I looked at that very well. This is like brand new. I'll probably list it at $45. This is an Alphalete tank top. I almost didn't get this. Um, I have listed, I have a pair of Alphalete pants and I, they're in my drafts. They've been in my drafts forever. I was really excited to find them. And then they had like a, a pull in the seam. So I have never listed them. I just need to like note the flaw and move on. But this is Alphalete also, but I want to say there were comps like around $25, $30 for this take. And I was like, all right, I'll grab it. Just has a wolf on it. And there you go. This is a size medium. This is on a Brooks Brothers long sleeve shirt, but it is the head of the Charles. And this is a rowing event that happens in Cambridge at the Charles River every year. And I just thought this was cool because this is a big event in Boston and this is on a Brooks Brothers shirt with the Brooks Brothers logo. You can purchase Vineyard Vine stuff and it will have like colleges on it or towns on it. Same idea, except it's head of the Charles Brooks Brothers. So I liked that for my local folks. The sun is coming down and it's bright in my eyes. If I don't film in here first thing in the morning, I really struggle because once the sun comes up, it's bad and now the sun's going down and you can see the window panes in back of me. Oh, I was excited about this pickup. I found these marine layer shorts for men. They are an extra large. They're in great condition. I love the brand marine layer, especially like Ben's prices. I just found marine layer um, last week and I am putting it in Angie's uh, thrifted box for Christmas. That's gonna be the finale of Happy Holidays. My last video I plan to do is the one where I do thrift and gift and I show all the thrifted items that I got for my family. It's something I do every year on my channel, if you're new here. Um, so it's one of my favorite videos to do. So I've been collecting things. So that'll be December 10th. I thought this was really cute. Speaking of Vineyard Vines, I'm not a huge Vineyard Vines fan. I do pick it up at the bins, but I thought this was adorable. It's a size small, it's a hoodie in this light gray with the just the pink little circle and the mint green whale. It's in beautiful condition. Okay, I wasn't sure about this Zara piece. Zara Men's, and it just says Hero on it. And it has like these sky patterned arms. I just thought it was unique enough to grab it for the price in the back says 66. When I did a search on Zara Hero sweatshirts for men, there were a bunch of Hero sweatshirts that came up, but I didn't see this one. So I don't know if it's a thing, if they release these Hero sweatshirts every once in a while at Zara. Let me know in the comments if you know anything about that. I'm wearing my David Rose Apothecary sweatshirt from Schitt's Creek. I ordered this on Poshmark and I'm obsessed with it. It is so cozy. I have a feeling you're gonna see a lot of me in this sweatshirt. It's so cute. The woman wore it for Halloween and then listed it and it's like brand new. This brand is Monsoon, another little kid's style. This is just a little cape. This needs to ha uh, have some depilling or I just might note the pilling. I don't like to spend a lot of time on kids' clothing because the return usually isn't that great, um, but it's a size small. So I would put this at probably like a five, six. Really cute. The comps on monsoon pieces weren't so bad. So I was excited about that. More kids stuff. Who am I? I don't pick up this much kids stuff. Mini Bowden. This is a size four, five. Really cute little crossover fleece. How adorable is that? I have a local thrift store. Uh, Caitlin's mom works there and it's children's. So 
if I find that I don't get around to listing these, I can always bring these to that shop and uh, just get a smaller return. So if they cost me a dollar, I might make $5 on the consignment if they sell for 10 or 15, you know what I mean? Um, so it's not much of a return, but if I don't feel like listing all these kids things, I might do that. More vineyard vines. These are size zero vineyard vine pants in this little bone ivory color. I thought these were really cute. They have the raw hem. Do you sell a lot of white pants? I tend, to, I like these because they're more of a, a an ivory, like a true cream color. If those were just straight up white, I probably would have passed on them, given that we're heading into the winter. But because they were that creamy color, I grabbed them. Oh, I got one purse, just one. And I think I showed this in the video as well. How cute is this? It's just distressed leather and it has some studs on it. It reminded me a little bit of Patricia Nash, but looks like maybe A.W. are the initials on there and it is leather. Anyways, it's just a little magnetic closure, crossbody adjustable strap. I thought this was adorable, neutral, loved it. This I got because it was very light and it was silk. It's an older piece from Banana Republic. Definitely out of season for this, but in beautiful condition from what I could see. And also um, the store where I was just referencing uh, for the kids clothes, when I was talking to my friend about the women's clothes that they take, she said that they love Banana Republic and J. Crew. It's like two of the brands that they take all the time. So I don't know if they would take this because it's from 2008 um, and it is more summery, but I had that in the back of my mind. Also, I have been sending boxes to thread up. So this is something that could potentially go there. I don't think that's gonna be like top of my list to like make sure I get listed right away. When I come home from the bins or a place like this and I have, you know, 40 pieces, I definitely prioritize the things that I wanna get listed that are in season or really good brands. Even though the marine layer is out of season, it's a really good brand, so I would prioritize that. I do prioritize when I come home with a bulk of items. These pants are so soft. These are beyond yoga and they are joggers. They they seem more like lounge pants, like bedtime pants than anything else. They are so soft. They have the little gathered bottom as joggers do. These are a size large and they are so soft and comfy. Um, probably list those for $25, although I haven't checked comps on that style, so we'll have to see. Oh, this shirt, I didn't wash this, so it's, it was just at the bottom here. Rufiji is the name brand on these on this and it's like a safari brand like an actual safari brand and the comps were not bad it says expedition tested so this is insect repellent which i think is really interesting it's got all of the you know mesh liner here long sleeve women extra small hoping to get between 30 and 40 dollars for that i thought this was really cute too another thing i could bring to the consignment store for kids it's just a crew cuts blazer springtime especially blazers are great for first communions and stuff like that and weddings one time i sold a i believe it was a vineyard vines boys navy blue um, blazer for full asking price of like 70 dollars. i remember going to list it and thinking oh this would be like 20 30 dollars tops and the comps were crazy so i listed high because the comps were really high and sure enough it sold for full price so i'm kind of hooked since then so I always give a second glance to the kids, to the boys, nice blazers. I don't just pick up any blazers because I feel like there are always a lot of blazers at the thrift store, um, but that one was a nice one. Looks like a little lint. So Kim has this strategy when she shops with me and it's hysterical. She just says the name of all the brands out loud that she thinks might be a thing. So she'll just say it out loud and sometimes I'll ignore her because I'm like, okay, fashion barn or, you know, like, no, she doesn't say those things out loud. She, she has an idea of what's good. She found the Madewell maroon pants. Oh, I think she's the one who said Everlane. She just said it out loud. I'm like, yes, I'll grab that. And then she said All Saints. And I said, yes, I'll take that. I love this sweater. Um, it's just very basic as a lot of All Saints stuff is. And I, I still get excited to find All Saints. It doesn't have the return to warrant my excitement, but I still get excited to find it. Not quite a mock neck, but a little bit of a thicker neck. Um, did I show the tag yet? It is a size medium. It's in really great shape. So I'll probably list this between 50 and 60. Is that ambitious? I don't know. I'm going to go for it. I really love that. All right. That's it for 
another installment of Lori went to the garment district and had fun in a pit of clothing. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for tuning in to Happy Holidays. I will be back, of course, tomorrow with a new video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on your notifications if you would like to see more from me and be notified when I post a video. I am so glad that you decided to join me today. Thanks, everybody, and happy holidays. I'll see you soon. Bye.